some screenings showed how connection networks work in the brain. Scientists have developed a detailed map of the network of connections in the brain based on brain activity scans taken while watching movies. They have identified which of these networks are involved in social interactions, language processing or visual and auditory signals. They also agree, which are activated when watching simple stories and which when we watch difficult, challenging scene. Many of us turn on the movie in the evening to relax and relax after a hard day. But during film screenings, the brain is it's extremely active. This was determined by researchers from the University of Cambridge, McGill University and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT. In the recent the research analyzed the brain scans of 176 people, obtained during viewing by them through different parts of the films for an hour. On their basis they established, that there are 24 different networks that have 24 networks that have various functions and patterns of activity. The results and description of the research appeared in the journal Neuron. Different areas of the brain are closely related and these connections form functional networks that relate to how we react to stimuli and how we behave. Most of the functional network research the brain is based on scans made with functional imaging magnetic resonance imaging fMRI, of people at rest, but many parts brain or cortex is not fully active when not stimulated the external stimuli. The fMRI scan indirectly measures brain activity by tracking how blood flows to different areas of the brain. If a certain part of the brain is active, blood flow to this part increases. In the new research, the researchers wanted to see if displaying videos during fMRI examination can give you a glimpse of how the network in the brain respond to complex sound and visual stimuli. Our work is first try to map different areas and network connections in the brain under conditions natural, says Reza Rajimer of MIT, the first author of the publication. In the case of fMRI at rest does not have a stimulus, so it is not known what it has activated these networks. But with the film stimulus we can learn how different brain networks respond to different aspects of the film, he adds. In their research, scientists used brain scans made in 2010 to 2015 as part of the Human Connectome project. In this project 176 young people took part in the fMRI study for an hour they watched fragments of documentaries and feature films, including hits such as Inception, Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Strikes, or Kevin Alone at Home. Scientists have averaged the brain activity of all participants and they used machine techniques to identify brain networks, especially within the cerebral cortex. They then investigated how activity within these different networks, it refers to the content of a film involving people, animals, objects, music, speech, and narrative. Analysis of the collected data revealed 24 different brain networks which were associated with specific aspects of sensory processing or cognitive, for example, recognition of human faces or body shapes, movement, places and landmarks, interactions between people and objects inanimate speech and social interactions. Scientists also show that there is an inverse relationship between the areas of the brain that allow us to plan solve problems and prioritizing information and in areas of the brain more the specific functions. For example, when the content of the film was difficult to understanding or ambiguous, increased activity in areas has been observed brain responsible for executive control, i.e. in areas responsible for decision making and solving problems. But when the subjects watched the scene notable involvement, prevailed areas of the brain with specific functions, such as language processing. Areas responsible for executive control are usually active in difficult tasks when the cognitive load is high. 
It looks like the fact that when the scenes in the film are quite easily understandable, for example, when it lasts clear conversation, language areas are active, but in situations when it occurs complex scene covering context, semantics, and ambiguity in meaning scenes, more cognitive effort is required, so the brain switches to the use of the general areas responsible for executive control he explains Rajai Mayer. Understanding the physical organization of the network brain may be the key to a better understanding of how the brain functions and in how to neurological damage, brain tissue injury and disorder mental or development can disrupt these connections. 2AA